The banquet event details are coming soon, but when is the date? Well, we can answer that. Where is the Summoner's Choice 2023? Well, it's been pushed back to 2023. We're going to go over this. A hot fix is out for the game. Go and check out that. And AQ compensation situation. Are some people that missed out on compensation being compensated? And what about the compensating, compensation, compensation? It... We, we kind of got and more hello everybody hope you're doing well welcome back to the marvel contest of champions news referred to as the mcn for wednesday it's hump day make sure to the like button subscribe with post notifications on all and uh yeah let's uh let's get newsing people we kick off the show with uh, a kick and a hot fix so and hot plate um i don't know if anybody gets that reference if i say and a hot plate but uh, i'm sure people will get the reference so 37.1.1 is a hot fix to fix an issue where items without start star rate start ratings star ratings uh, were displaying six stars under them in Nexus crystals and offers. Fix an issue where some champions were too small in their page uh, the champion info pages. So yeah, if you go first of all, uh, shout out to Zach. I think it's yeah Zach sent me through uh, this, which is yeah that that, that do be a small Mr. Fantastic. He's 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 like not the normal sized Mr. Fantastic. He's sort of like Mr. Adequate right there because he's just kind of like, you know, he's just been put down to. He's, he's like he's been ant man really. Like like someone's thrown some pin particles on him and he's gone down to uh, like a, you know, that particular size. But yeah, there is a hotfix out if you go and check in game or check in the app store. That's a more apt, apt place. Um, there you'll notice there's an update. Go and update. Um, you know, get the latest update and kind of get that in your download faces. Next up, and we move on to Summoner's Choice. Do you remember the Summoner's Choice? Summoner's Choice 2023? Uh, well, I think we got a bit of an idea. After the uh, the little kind of minute vote that you could do for some of the older favourites of um, previous Summoner Choices, we got our winner being Bullseye, I think it was. Was it Bullseye that won that one? Yeah, I want to say it was. So with that, I think a lot of us are kind of going like, well, where is the Summoner's Choice vote? The plot thickens and I scratch my beard because there's some, like, you know, I think, as I've learned, working for a games developer for the last 12 months is that things do indeed change. I get that. But uh, yeah, I mean, for that, it's like a vote, isn't it? Surely you'd want the vote to be done and dusted by the end of the year so that then the development time could then be put into making the champion. Because now it just means that we've, we kind of feel like, was it Quicksilver was, was it August time or September time? In any case, these, these champions like Hercules was July. So it's like going like, okay, well July, August, and then this one, is it going to be September, October time next year? Because this kind of, as Kabam Jack said here, I gave the impression by saying we'll have more details towards the end of November. I don't think we got any details. If those details were meant to be what was in uh, the inside the contest, that wasn't a huge amount of like details, but it's obviously looking like the Kabam have made the decision that this is more next year, which does go out of the scheme of what happened. What did it happen last year? Actually, was it a January thing? I, I want to say we voted in October and the results were in January. But I could be wrong with that one. In any case, it's, it would just would be nice to kind of like... I thought it would be nice to do this in, in December. You know, when everyone's playing the game, things are a bit more hyped and stuff like that. But yeah, as Kabam's sake here, uh, glad you're excited for Summoner's Choice 2023. We are too. We'll have the details available to you in uh, early in the new year. So I guess that's something that pushes it back even further. But yeah, anyway... Um, Summer Choice 2023 Champs is going going to follow the same cadence as the previous year and release in the fall. Not sure where you're getting information to just next holiday season. Well, fall. Well, kind of. Like, it's... What is it? If you look at it from a point of view of Hercules was July, and if we're saying fall, then that pushes it out of when Quicksilver was, was released. I guess it would be me being very snippy if I said that, well, technically, it's not a full cadence because it was a it was a late summer cadence or summer cadence because, as I said, Hercules was released in July and then we had Quicksilver released in August of, um, of 2022. So that's summer cadence. If it's a full cadence, then this is a new cadence. Um, of things, not um, you know a, re a recurring cadence. But in any case, 
Um, it looks like there's another month left on um, on the getting the Summoner's Choice 2023 out to players. But apparently this was all explained to me in the um, inside the contest. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me for breathing and understanding the new cadence that you have, rather than saying it's all about the older cadence. And now let's move on to AQ Compensation. There's a two-parter to this one. It was a bit of a nice surprise yesterday to receive, you know, the, the 60 tickets. Handy, um, you know, it lowers the cost when it comes to entering into AQ because we lost the length of time that we uh, did with the um, Alliance Quest. It was nice to see it. A few indifferent things from different players about the subject of, um, of those particular tickets. And as Command Mike says here, this is in addition to the other compensation we went out last week. If you don't use them, it's free tickets for someday you might. So when when you, because that's the thing as well. Uh, and if you do, you're getting double what you would have spent in one day of AQ was cancelled. Yeah, so to, to kind of like put people in the picture that may not even use, because that's the biggest thing, you may not use AQ tickets in your AQ maps, depending on where you are in the game. But uh, for certain players, as soon as the higher you go up, the more it's going to cost you uh, when it comes to like, transferring your loyalty to a token or transferring your battleships to a token, units to a token, gold to a token, etc. Whatever. So um, it was nice to see this. But um, yeah, for others, it may be a case of, um, yeah, like like not, um, not, not good for everybody, but uh, definitely all right for some. And the part two to this is going back to something that we discussed, I think it was on Monday's or last week's MCN, which was about the AQ compensation uh, situation for members of alliances that either switch alliances, returning back to alliances, were under the blackout the blackout period, bunny is blackout period, in, um, in MCOC. So, uh, so yeah, where's the update with this? There is a nice-ish, well, I don't know. I don't want to get people's hopes up with it because... You know, it, we, we've been here before, people. We've been here before. We're trying to get our hopes up with stuff. And that is, uh, look, did you know that like, some players, like, were, did you know that Kabam's AQ was going to fail as you changed? Did you know that it would affect you? You didn't know these things. In any case, like, there's a slight response on the subject because we were talking about maybe it would be nice if Kabam did something to help out those players that lost out on uh, rewards that were switching alliances at the time, rejoining alliances. And we explained this, um, you know, quite in depth. So as of yesterday, Kabam Jack said, this is something we have brought to the team and are investigating currently. At this point in time, we're not sure of the path forward, but we'll update you here when we have more information. So again, that doesn't really give any kind of like hope to matters. They're looking at it, but it doesn't mean, you know, resolved. As I said, it would be nice if they could do something. Yes, I understand that Kabam would probably say, well, this is under their blackout period and the length of time that it would be required in order to deal with the subject. But it's one of these kind of nice little gestures that could be um, done um, just for these players, just to kind of sort, sort them out, especially if, you know, no fault of their own. They didn't know that the AQ was going to be cancelled when it, when it did and left them, rendered them rewardsless for a larger length of time. So in any case, watch this space. We'll see what happens uh, next week, week after, or whenever. The gifting event is no more. We all know this now. We've come to accept that as the eventuality for this year. But we also have something in its place, the banquet event. The banquet event is going to be similar to the gifting event, except, except you cannot gift from one player to another. There is an exception to this. As for the well, I think the final time ever you'll be able to give some consumables to each other during this event and earn points. Uh, what those points will be, don't know. We're still yet to kind of get more info on this. So the banquet event teased to us, and it will be like this over kind of. I mean, for me, at the moment, I'm on an endeavor to grab units for free. I live streamed here on YouTube yesterday. I'm going to be doing regular live streams of unit grinding, and I have targets of 12,000 units to get by the end of this. Now, I'd love to say I get that uh, without having to get into things like battle chips and kind of pop a load open and get unable to contribute more. Which, funnily enough, to more, if I do more than 12,000 units, that's more than I spent last year when I was a spender in Marvel Contest of Champions. Now, doing this for free, uh, it's definitely a lot better on the bank account, but, uh, you know, it's definitely something that's uh, taken a lot more time in a very grindy game, more so even. But yeah, to the point, when are we going to get an announcement for the banquet event, especially because I want to make some videos, I want to plan for stuff, I want to get uh, guides together and stuff. 
But yeah, we have had an answer on that particular subject from Kabam Jax. And Jaxy Baby uh, says that we're going to have information on the banquet event on Friday. So we've got two more days to wait, just two more days, and we'll be getting information on the banquet event. So very exciting times are ahead. And now we end the show with a little bit of arena predictions for Mantis and for Korg. So predictions wise, I'm going with 250 mil, which kind of clo comes close to that Atuma recently arena that went for. I just feel a lot of new champions seem to be going for around 250 mil mark. Five star. Five star. <clears throat> so my predictions for, first of all, Mantis, six star, I'm going with 250 mil. Comes close to that Atuma arena recently resulted in, in that. And a lot of new champions uh, nowadays seem to go from that 250 mil mark. Either push more or it's going to be less. It's normally around that nor uh, at the moment. Uh, five star Mantis, I'm going with 60 mil. Again, new champion. It could even go a little bit less than that, maybe like 50 something mil. Six star Korg. This could be a very good champion to get if you want to increase your battleground deck. So you may be like, okay, well, I'll, I'll take it in for the BG deck. So you may want to push for this. I think the champion would go low. I think it would go about 40 mil. May go a little lower than that one, possibly. But again, that's just hazarding, I guess, 40 mil or anything between, say, 35 to 40 mil. You're going to more than likely net the champion. And five star, if you want it, I think a, a cheeky 12 mil. To be honest, I even think like 10 mil may be enough, but we'll see what happens with the results. And we'll do the results on MCN on Monday of next week. That has been the show for today. Thank you very much for watching. Also, thank you to those that support the channel as a YouTube member and as a Patreon. You're on screen right now. Much love and thank you. Also, um, for those that support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive, I will be back live streaming a lot more on Twitch later on today. So go and check that out. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you then. A little bit full guys, a little bit of MCOC and get some more W's and wins and all that stuff. Oh yeah, and uh, make sure to hit uh, the like button, subscribe and also check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. Do that with your eyeball faces. Thank yous and byes.